Welcome to the LEGO Awards 2014 with your host, LEGO Lee 329. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, LEGO Lee 329 again here. Welcome to the first annual LEGO Awards for 2014. I'm sure all of you guys at some point in your lives have watched, you know, maybe the Oscars, the Tonys, the Grammys, the Emmys, an award show at some point on TV. And you know, I had a thought one day. I was like, hmm, why can't there be an award show for Lego sets? And I was like, well, obviously no giant TV corporation is going to make an award show for Lego sets, but maybe I'll make my own. So, you know, I kind of came up with some categories. Me and Justin Goodyear Brooks made lots of nominees for these categories. And then I went to you guys, the fans, and had polls online where you guys could actually vote for the winners of these categories. I had no input in this. You know, I, 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 made, I made a vote. I made a vote for my favorites on each of these. But I was one vote out of hundreds for all these guys. But you guys, the fans, ultimately are who decided to won these awards. And I'm very excited to bring you the first ever LEGO award show for 2014 that the fans brought forth. You guys are the ones who voted for these winners. Not a group of snobby, you know, board members or something. These are the fans' choices for the best sets, best themes, best minifigures of 2013. 2013 was a great year for LEGO. We saw a lot of awesome new themes such as Galaxy Squad, The Lone Ranger, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all of which are nominated tonight. We also saw some old LEGO themes get some awesome new flavor like Star Wars with lots of new stuff for clone armies. Lord of the Rings brought us the amazing Tower of Orthanc set that stayed at about three feet tall. We also got an expansion to the LEGO Friends line. It made the LEGO sets targeted for females better than ever. Lots of great stuff came out in 2013. Now, of course, being the first ever LEGO Awards show, there's going to be a record for everything. And the record right now for most nominations belongs to Star Wars. Star Wars has 11 nominations over all these categories. So congratulations to Star Wars. That might be broken next year if this award show happens. But congratulations to Star Wars currently holding the record for LEGO Award nominations at 11. All right, guys, let's jump right into the award show. Our first award is Best Poly Bag, and who better present this award than the Poly Bag Collector himself? Take it away, Connor. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to thank LEGO Lee 329 for letting me have an opportunity to do this in the awards. I'm very grateful for that, so thank you for, to him. But today we're uh, doing the Best Poly Bag Award. Now, there are five poly bags which the public, or you maybe, has voted on, and here are the five nominees. Lego City 30224 Ride On Lawnmower Lego Legends of Chima 30252 Krug's Swamp Jet Lego The Hobbit The Desolation of Smog 30216 Lake Town Guard Lego Creator 40079 Mini VW T1 Volkswagen Campervan and lastly, LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 30270, Krang's Turtle Target Practice. Okay, so now take your guesses on what it's going to be, because now we're going to open it. So here we go. The winner is... The Lake Town Guard. Yes, that is the winning poly bag. So here is another picture of it. Okay, so that is the winner of the Best Polybag Award, so thank you uh, for Lego Lee 329 for letting me have this opportunity, and congratulations to the Polybag and to anyone who voted for it. So thank you very much for letting me have a part in this. Thank you, Connor. It's no surprise that the Lake Town Guard won that award. I thought that was a fantastic Polybag, great for building armies of those soldiers. Really cool. So our next award is for best set that cost under 20 US dollars. Next person to present here is Lawrence Dang from Anificial Stripe Line. Hey guys. So this will be the 2014 award show for Lego League 329. And this one I'm going to be um, announcing the best set under 20 bucks. I'm going to show you the pictures right now.
Now to further ado, the winner, the best set of, of under twenty dollars, is Clone Troopers versus Dre Eco's 2013 set, which is this set. Well done, Lego Star Wars. You have really made really good stuff. Great clones, great stuff. Really impressive job. Alright guys, this will be it. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. The Clone Trooper vs. Jordica's Battle Pack was definitely a great small set. I got seven myself. I'm a bit obsessive, but it's a really great army buildable set. I have way too many Jordicas though, so if anyone wants some Jordicas, you know, send me an email. Maybe I'll give you a couple, because I have, I have too many to go around. Our next award is Best Set that costs exactly $20, and here to present that is my good friends from the Brick Central. Hey guys, it's Izzy from the Brick Central. Um... So today we are uh, doing the results for Legoli 329's um, little poll he's been having. So here are the results. Um, the question was, what was the best Lego set, um, $20 Lego set in 2013? So there were six nominees, and uh, the first one, well the first two, uh, coming in at five votes each, were Lego Teenage, Mutant, Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stealth, Shell, and Pursuit with six votes, and Lego Ninjago Cole's Earth Driller actually with five votes. So, And then we've got Lego Galaxy Squad Swarm Interceptor with eight votes. Then we got the Lego Star Wars ATRT with 20 votes. Then we've got the Lego DC Super Heroes Arctic Batman vs. Mr. Freeze Aquaman on Ice. At 43 votes, and in first place we have Lego Marvel Sur <laughs> Lego Marvel Superheroes Spider Cycle Chase, coming in at 45 votes. So it was really close between um the Arctic Batman versus Mr. Freeze, and the Spider Cycle Chase. But the Spider Cycle Chase did wind up beating it by about two points, which is kind of ironic because that's one set. The set the one is one set that I don't own. So, I'll have to pick that one up, actually, I've been meaning to for a while now. Um, thanks to Lee for, Lego Lee 329 for giving us this opportunity to be able to present the awards. And, um, yeah, good job, um, to whoever designed, uh, the Spider Cycle Chase, coming in at first place with 45 votes. That was definitely one of the closest races of any of these Lego awards. It basically came down to a Marvel versus DC battle, where Marvel ended up edging DC there in the end which is really fun to see. Our next award is for best set that costs 30 to 40 US dollars, and here to present that is our biggest celebrity by far of the night, and that is Just Too Good Euro Bricks. Hello, Just Too Good Euro Bricks here, back with another review. Wait, this isn't a set? This is the first annual Leg Awards. I totally forgot. So I am here to present another, and not even another because this is the first Lego Awards show ever on YouTube, I think. Um, thinking back, yeah, look, something at least in this kind of style, this is the first of them. So I'm here to present the best $30 to $40 2013 LEGO set that's based on the United States dollars. And we do have six nominees, so before I present the award or uh, announce the winner of the award, we'll go over each nominee. Our first nominee was the Mirkwood Elf Army set from LEGO Lord of the Rings, which was released in summer 2013 and retailed for $30. Our next nominee uh, was the Lego The Lone Ranger Stagecoach Escape, which retailed for $30. It was released in spring 2013. Our next nominee is the Back to the Future Time Machine set, which is part of the Crusoe line, originally released in summer 2013 for $35. And then for the Golden Dragon set, uh, which was a Ninjago set, originally released in January 2013, and it retailed for $30. And unfortunately, no minifigure representation could make it today. Uh, I don't know, Count Dooku or Yoda could just, you know, not even get to an award show because our fifth nominee was the Duel on Geonosis set, which was a Lego Star Wars set, originally released in summer 2013 for $40. And our last nominee was the Mirkwood Elf Army set from the Lego The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog line from December 2013. So made it right there at the end of the year. That was a $30 set. And so the winner of the first annual LEGO Awards, $30 to $40 best set prize, or not even a prize, it's a, it's a nominee, or it's a, it's a category, that's, that's a better word, is the 
Thondriel, or not even Thondriel, but the Mirkwood Elf Army set. And that is really, really cool. Congrats to the Mirkwood Elf Army set, and I will see you guys later. And enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, Just Do Good Euro Bricks. That was a really exciting award category. Basically, it came down to Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit at the end right there. But actually, The Hobbit kind of surprisingly edged out Lord of the Rings in the end, which was really cool to see that. So our next award is going to be presented by Croft Studios, and that is for best Legos that cost 50 to 60 US dollars. Hello, I am Croft Studios here on Lego Lee 329's YouTube channel, and I'm here to present the Lego $50 to $60 price range sets. And I'm very happy to be presenting here. Thank you, Lego Lee 329 for having me on here. It is a great honor. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the nominees first. First up is the Lego Friends Heart Lake High. Second up is the Lego Lord of the Rings Battle at Black Gate. Third up is the Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Layer Attack. Fourth is the Lego Hobbit Lake Town Chase. Fifth up is the Lego Star Wars Rancor Pit. And sixth up is the Lego Lone Ranger Colby City Showdown. So that is our six nominees, so we're going to go ahead and straight on to the winner. So the winner of the $50 to $60 price range set is the Lego Hobbit Lake Town Chase. You can see the box right here. Very nice set. I've actually really liked this set when I reviewed it. Very nicely done. All the play features are pretty awesome in this set. So that is basically it. I, um, I'm really happy to be on here, LEGO Elite 329. Thanks for having me on, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Another award for The Hobbit. The Hobbit is taking home lots of the awards, which is pretty surprising in my opinion, but it was a great line. Lake Town Chase, in my opinion, was definitely the best from that theme. We're getting on to some of the bigger categories now. This is our awesome award we have for best LEGO set that costs $70 or more. And here to present that is Danny from LEGO Buff Productions. This is Danny from Lego Buff Productions. Here are the nominees for best Lego set that cost $70 or more. And the nominees are Lego Star Wars Republic Gunship, $120. Lego The Lone Ranger Constitution Train Chase, $100. Lego Friends Dolphin Cruiser, $70. Lego City Town Square, $120. Lego Ninjago Temple of Light, $70. And Lego Castle, King's Castle, $100. And the award goes to... Lego Star Wars Republic Gunship, $120. Congratulations. No surprise here that the Republic Gunship took home the gold for that award. A great set, one of my personal favorites from last year. So our next award is for best direct to consumer like of set. Decided, you know, to put these ones a little bit in their own separate category because they are just so special and so spectacularly detailed. But we have a great presenter here tonight to present this award and that is Lego Brick Fan. The next category is the best direct to consumer Lego set. And the nominees are the Lego Creator Expert Palace Cinema. The LEGO Star Wars Ewok Village, the LEGO Creator Expert Horizon Express, the LEGO Creator Expert Sydney Opera House, the LEGO Lord of the Rings Tower of Orthanc, and the LEGO Star Wars Red 5 X-Wing Starfighter. And the winner is... The Tower of Orthanc! Tower of War Think Man was my personal favorite set from 2013, so in my opinion, it's no surprise that it won this award. It's just a fantastic set, the only set I actually rate 10 out of 10 from last year. Now, present the best minifigures from a licensed and non licensed themes. We have MBL Designs. Best minifigure from a non licensed set. Here are the nominees Lego Legends of Shima, 30. Lego City Chase McCain Lego Galaxy Squad Orange Robot Sidekick Lego Legends of Shima Laval Lego Ninjago The Golden Ninja And the winner is Lego City Chase McCain Best minifigure from a licensed set here are the nominees. Lego Star Wars, Yango Fett. Lego Lord of the Rings, 
Elrond. Lego Marvel Superheroes. Iron Patriot. Lego The Hobbit. Franduil. Lego Star Wars. Max Rebo. Lego The Lone Ranger. Red Harrington. Lego DC Superheroes. Aquaman. Lego Lord of the Rings, The Mouth of Sauron. Lego Star Wars, Slave Leia. And the winner is... Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Iron Patriot. Nice to see Chase McCain in Lego City get some recognition from that award. Definitely a very cool minifigure. And then Iron Patriot, to be completely honest, I was a little bit surprised it won that award. But it was a very cool minifigure. I actually personally did not get it myself, however, because I didn't really want the video game that much. So I was a little surprised that a you know video game exclusive minifigure actually won both of those awards. So that's kind of an interesting thing. We'll see how that pans out next year. But moving on to the next minifigure award, that is her best minifigure from a collectible minifigure series. And the next guy presenting has minifigure in his username. It is the minifig boy 1212. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the minifig boy 1212. Um, I would just like to give a huge thank you to Lego Lee 329 for allowing me to uh, present a an award for the Lego Awards 2014. Lee, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also, before, I would like to thank my sister for helping me in this video as well. Um, so, yeah, let's get on to the award. Um, judging by my name, the Minifig Boy 1212, you can probably already tell what I'm going to do. Um, over the past year, we've gotten three amazing collectible minifigure series featuring Series 9, which was very controversial, Series 10, which included the first ever exclusive minifigure, and Series 11, my personal favorite series. Now, each series had amazing figures, but three from each series really stood out. Here are the nominees for the best collectible minifigure of 2013. From Series 9, we have the Cyclops, the Chicken Suit Guy, and the Plumber. From Series 10, we have the Revolutionary Soldier, Mr. Gold. Unfortunately, I was not one of the lucky people to retrieve a Mr. Gold, and I'm not really willing to pay that much money for him. So, as of right now, I don't have him, but he is still a nominee. We've got the Paintball Player. The Tiki Warrior, is that his name? The Island Boy, Tiki, whatever. Uh, the Pretzel Girl, and the Gingerbread Man. One of my personal favorite figures of all time. This is some pretty tough competition we have, but the award for the best collectible minifigure goes to Mr. Gold. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, did you guys vote for him? I didn't. Um, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Um, again, thank a huge thank you to my sister, and an even bigger thank you to Lego Lee 329 and remember, every brick counts. See you guys later. Bye. No surprise here that Mr. Gold won Best Minifigure of the Year. He's just so, you know, elusive. I think everyone just kind of likes him for that reasoning. And now, this award is no longer going to be called Best Minifigure from a Collectible Minifigure series. It's going to be called the Mr. Gold Award. I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Mr. Gold, you know, the Oscars have gold trophies. The Grammys are gold trophies. We're going to call this the Mr. Gold Award. All right, guys, we're getting into the biggest awards of the night. This next award is recognizing not the accomplishments LEGO made this year, the accomplishments LEGO fans made this year, and these are the biggest LEGO fans. That is Best LEGO YouTuber. And here to present that is a great LEGO YouTuber, my great friend, Josh from Hutch Productions. Hello there, everyone. I am Hutch from Hutch Productions, and I'm here to present the award for Best LEGO YouTuber. This is one of the highest honors in the LEGO Award. So, without further ado, here are the nominees. The Brick Show. 
Just Too Good Eurobricks, Solid Brick Studios, Jang Bricks, Lego Lee 329, Bricksar, Your Creative Friends, The Brick Central, Michael MGF. And the winner of the best Lego YouTube reviewer of 2013 goes to Jang Bricks. Congratulations, Jang Bricks. You are the winner of the best Lego YouTuber of 2013. Congratulations to Jang Bricks. He really had a great year with Lego this year. A really great YouTuber. Makes some, some fantastic videos. Go subscribe to him. So we're getting down to the final award of the night, and our presenter for best LEGO theme of 2013 is none other than myself. Alright guys, here is the best LEGO theme for 2013. And the nominees are... LEGO Galaxy Squad LEGO Friends LEGO The Lone Ranger LEGO Star Wars LEGO Lord of the Rings slash The Hobbit and LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the winner for best LEGO theme from 2013 is... LEGO Star Wars! Congratulations to LEGO Star Wars for winning the first ever LEGO Awards 2013 best theme. Definitely well deserved, a great year for LEGO Star Wars. And congratulations to all the winners. And guys, thank you to all of our presenters tonight. Go subscribe to each and one of their channels. They're all great LEGO YouTubers. There'll be links in the description below to check out all their channels. And thank you all for watching the first annual LEGO Awards for 2014. It was a really fun award show to make. And hopefully next year, this award show will return for LEGO Awards 2015. I'm really excited about this. So thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Share this video with all your friends. I want this award show to get out to as many people as possible. Favorite the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Can't get enough of the LEGO Awards? Well, no worries. It's a Facebook page you can go like. There'll be a link in the description to go there.